it's an odd summer we're having, isn't it, sir? Four seasons in a day, it is. Like, like they put us under some experimental weather dome. It doesn't know whether it's coming or going, does it, sir? But by the viscosity and hue of the precipitation, I wouldn't be surprised if it was both. A feat impossible in human biology, as you know. But there's nothing the British weather couldn't magic up, eh? I've seen it blow chunks that look like something I ate yesterday. Maybe the clouds are just drunk. Sir, you ever think of that? Maybe the clouds are just so depressed with it all, with all, with all the human being cover, that they're taking to binge drinking, just emptying the spoils of surplus fluids into various topographical gutters. Really? The weather? This is really what you talk about. A cliché within a cliché. At least when you talk about people's holidays, you get different answers. The weather is the same conversation every time. Oh, God, how do you not kill yourself? Begging your pardon, sir. I think what the sky is doing is pretty important. You think what's going on with the air we're attempting to breathe is... I don't know, it's... To me, it's rather a pressing issue. What would you prefer, I said? Do you see the game last night? I don't give a begrudging unclench about the game or any of the pampered, painted whores you like to watch on screens. It all happened miles and miles away to a bunch of overpaid fops I'll never meet. The sky is right there. There's several cubic tons of it right on top of us. Pardon my lungs if I think that's worth mentioning. D- exactly. It's just environmental information. It's worth predicting, but it's not suitable for social commentary. You're not just tedious. You're hurting this country with your pathetic fallacy, supporting the idea that weather affects moods, that when it's cold and wet, everyone becomes miserable. Actually, old sport, they don't. They get the ruddy hell on with it, and they don't complain. They go out in the murky brown rain and form an orderly queue to buy a gallbladder in a bath that cost them an hour's wage. And they do it all as they whistle the world's greatest music. So before you go complaining idly about the weather, you just remember that the Industrial Revolution happened in and very possibly because of these conditions. So did Newton and Darwin and Shakespeare. They did, or they all did at least half of their best work staring out of a window at, at a foggy tapestry of liquid gloom, all right? Do your job and shut up about the weather. All right, then how about now? Shut up.